So on a darker topic, you've expressed serious concern about existential threats of AI. It's perhaps one of the greatest challenges our civilization faces, but since I would say we're kind of an optimistic descendants of apes, perhaps we can find several paths of escaping the harm of AI. So if I can give you three options, maybe you can comment which do you think is the most promising. So one is scaling up efforts on AI safety and beneficial AI research in, in hope of finding an algorithmic or maybe a policy solution. Two is becoming a multiplanetary species as quickly as possible. And three is merging with AI and, and riding the wave of that increasing intelligence uh, as it continuously improves. What do you think is most promising, most interesting as a civilization that we should invest in? I think there's, there's a, lot, a tremendous amount of investment going on in AI. Where there's a lack of investment is in AI safety. And there should be, in my view, a government agency that oversees anything related to AI to confirm that it is does not represent a public safety risk. Just as there is a regulatory authority for just like the Food and Drug Administration, there's NHTSA for autom automotive safety, there's the FAA for aircraft safety, where it generally comes to the conclusion that it is important to have a government referee or, or a referee that is serving the public interest in, in ensuring that uh, uh, things are safe when when there's a potential danger to the public. Um, I would argue that uh, AI is unequivocally uh, something that has potential to be dangerous to the public and therefore should have a regulatory agency just as other things that are dangerous to the public have a regulatory agency. But let me tell you, the problem with this is that the government moves very slowly and the, the rate of the, the usually the way a regulatory agency uh, comes into being is that something terrible happens. There's a huge public outcry. And years after that, there's a regulatory agency or a rule put in place. Take something like, like seatbelts. It was known for I don't know, a decade or more that seatbelts would have a massive impact on uh, safety and, and save so many lives and serious injuries. And the car industry fought the requirement to put seat belts in tooth and nail. That's crazy. Yeah. And and I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people probably died because of that. And they said people wouldn't buy cars if they had seat belts, which is obviously absurd. You know, or look at the tobacco industry and how long they fought any thing about smoking. That's part of why I helped make that movie. Thank you for smoking. You can sort of see just how pernicious it can be when you have these companies effectively achieve regulatory capture of, of government, the bad. People in the AI community refer to the advent of digital superintelligence as a singularity. That That is not to say that it is good or bad, but it, that it is very difficult to predict uh, what will happen after that point. And and that there's some probability it will be bad, some probability it'll be, it will be good. We obviously want to affect that probability and have it be more good than bad. 